Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share seven easy keto breakfast ideas. I've been filming my breakfast um, for the past week or so and I've been trying to mix it up and have some breakfast with egg. Let's face it, most of my breakfasts are usually with egg, but I did have a couple of breakfasts that were not eggs, they were egg-free breakfast ideas, that are low carb, keto friendly. And I'll leave a link down below to the blog post where I'll share all of these breakfasts in detail, as well as some other videos I've shared in the past that will interest you, that'll have, I've got a week of breakfast ideas without eggs, with eggs, loads of other ideas to check out down below. Um, so I filmed it over the last week or so, and I'm sharing all of the footage with you today so that I can give you loads and loads of ideas. And make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you subscribe for more yummy inspirations. And remember to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what is your go-to low-carb keto breakfast lately. I look forward to reading your comments. So let me show you breakfast number one. Getting pretty steamy in the kitchen. For breakfast, I'm making cheesy fried eggs. I've got my fried eggs and I've got grated cheese in the edge. And then you end up with these crispy edged cheesy fried eggs which are amazing oh, look at that cheesy goodness so crispy I just kind of leave it there until it is crisp to my liking and then I have the cheesiest crispiest eggs you could ever imagine and the cheesy eggs are done I moved my husband's out because I like mine a little extra cheesy and just leave it into crisp you kind of just leave them still and you have these beautiful cheesy crispy eggs so that is my breakfast today and this morning I felt like a big massive hearty breakfast so we've got two sausages we've got half an avocado sour cream cheese two beautiful crispy fried eggs and that is one big breakfast it's a lovely way to have a breakfast fry up on keto you can add pretty much anything you want any veg any meaty goodness whatever you like and that is one filling huge low carb high fat keto breakfast idea this morning for breakfast i don't quite feel like eggs so i thought i'd have some chia pudding berry goodness so i've got five little lonely raspberries in there and i'm going to add some yogurt now just look and find the lowest carb yogurt you can um, and usually it's a little bit bitterish you can add a bit of stevia or your sweetener of choice to it whip through some whipped cream add through some whisk through some whipped cream and that brings the fat content up and then i've got some chia seeds and yes you can definitely have chia on keto they are full of fiber so good for you so definitely mix through a couple of teaspoons of chia i had them most days on keto and everything works beautifully with it so i'm going to get on and make my little chia breakfast pudding now and that's my little breakfast mishmash. I've got my whipped cream, yogurt, chia seeds and raspberries and I'll mix it all together. And that's a good low carb, high fat breakfast when you don't feel like eggs. And I've mixed it all in together and you can see the little raspberries poking through and you could definitely leave this in the fridge overnight and you've got a thick chia pudding or you can enjoy it just like this. For breakfast this morning I'm making the same breakfast I made on my first day of keto uh, radish and eggs and the radish are just chopped into little bite-sized pieces I'm gonna cook them in heaps of butter and then have some fried eggs and they end up turning into almost like little fried potatoes of goodness and um, so yeah it's just a yum low-carb keto breakfast and I'm gonna get on and cook these and show you as I go the butter is bubbling and ready for my radishes and I also chopped up very roughly a whole lot of garlic cloves too. So the radish and garlic will just cook until golden, adding more butter and a bit of salt along the way. And cook it until it's golden to your liking and cooked to how you like to enjoy your radish. Oh, now those are beautifully cooked, golden, crispy. Don't they look like little potatoes? So I'm going to get those out and make some fried eggs now. Two eggs for me three for hubby and I'll show you my breakfast plate once it's done and that's the finished breakfast plate look at those radishes they look like little potatoes don't they but they're nice and crispy and they've got the garlic and the crispy fried egg that's just such a perfect breakfast and I've also in the past added a bit of sour cream or avo on the side or a bit of parmesan as well if you want it's just however you like to enjoy it so I'm gonna have my breakfast and I'll keep sharing low carb keto breakfasts with you for breakfast this morning, I don't feel like a big cooked breakfast. I feel more like a protein shake. Um, you could make a smoothie, but I <laughs> I won't use all of these at once, but I've started a bit of a collection. I keep finding different protein powders that are lowish in carb and natural, and I'm just working through and trying 
all the different options that are available here in Ireland. Um, but my little hack to turn a protein shake good and high fat is to add some fresh cream. I've got fresh Irish cream over here. So mix it up according to the directions on the protein powder that you have and um, add whatever milk that you like and then add some cream to bring the fat content up to help you meet your macros and that is what I'm going to do and my breakfast is all shaken up and it might not look like much but definitely the cream satiates and fills you up and you get the protein and it's just a great option for a keto breakfast when you want to be on the go and just don't have time for cooking in the morning for breakfast I've got a beautiful bunch of asparagus sautéing away in butter and I'm going to cook these until they're beautiful and cooked through. The asparagus are done to my liking, going to move them off to a plate and fry up some eggs now. And this is my finished breakfast plate. I've got some asparagus sautéed beautifully. I've got some feta which I've very roughly crumbled over and two fried eggs. That is such a filling, good, hearty, low carb, high fat breakfast. And for my final breakfast of the week, I felt like cheesy cauliflower, and that's what I'm making. I've got hot heaps of butter, added a bit more butter in a frying pan, melting away, and I've added chopped head of cauliflower. I'm going to be sharing this with my husband. It was a small head of cauliflower. Just cook as much as you want, and I'm going to cook it until it's nice and golden, and then make it nice and cheesy, and I'll show you how in a sec. Now that I've got the cauliflower nice and crispy and softened, I'm going to add some creamy ingredients to make a creamy and cheesy cauliflower breakfast bowl. First I've poured over some cream, I've just used this fresh Irish cream, but you're keto, you'll have cream in your fridge, use any cream you want. Let it bubble away for a sec and then we're going to add some cheese. Now I've added a good few handfuls of grated cheese. Use any cheese you want, use one or more cheese, anything you like, and I'm going to mix that all through and add one more creamy ingredient. And that is just a couple of tablespoons of sour cream, sour cream, cream, cheese. Oh, this is just amazing cauliflower dish, and I'm just going to let this bubble away for a sec and then pop it into a bowl. Oh, look at that bowl of cheesy cauliflower goodness. It tastes so good. It's such a nice alternative for breakfast when you want something hot but don't really feel like eggs. Um, as you've seen this week, I have eggs most morning for breakfast but sometimes I just feel like a big bowl of cheesy veg and that's what I've got today. Um, now you can check down below, I'll leave a link to the blog post where I go through all seven breakfast ideas so check that out and pin it, bookmark it, save it for lovely easy low carb keto breakfast inspiration and leave a comment, let me know what's been your go to keto breakfast, um, look forward to reading that and remember to leave a like and subscribe for more yummy inspirations just like this and we'll see you again soon. Bye!